I'm break dancing. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to training time. I'm with my sister, Lydia. Today, we're doing a reading secrets video because I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done one since last year. This is Hazel. This is the only Jorvik wild horse I have. Snowball's licking my hand. I feel bad for Snowball because his nickname is Snoog. You know, I kind of want to sell this horse already. I'm kind of just- Oh my gosh, that's my favorite horse. How could you? Okay, so the first secret is, this isn't an SSO secret, but I really want to steal your cat. It's so cute. Snowball, he really is the cutest cat ever, except he's very destructive and he breaks glass a lot. He's sitting on my lap right now. He's just, oh my gosh, I love him so much. One of my old club owners went to the washroom on a Discord call and forgot to mute. I have seen on TikTok where people will be in their Zoom classes for school and people will go to the bathroom during the class and forget to mute. How did you finish this race? I'm still in it. My horses have never known happiness. They sit in my stable sad and alone and uncared for. That's kind of like my horses right now. And Lydia's horses because oh. she, I don't think she really logs on. No, I'll, only <laughs> if I if I have star coins. Yeah, Lydia, she only plays the game if she has star coins. I hate my club leader because I don't want to kick her out because I'm scared of her. Help. That just sounds like a tough situation, sorry. I used to think as a noob- Oh, what the f- I'm sorry, I just- What did you say? I just accidentally shut out of the game. I used to think as a noob that SSO was a dating game. So how did you think a game about horses was a, a dating game? I mean, there are some weird things that happen on this game. Do you see, like, people dating, like, online? No, I, I what don't- What about on Roblox? Yeah, in Royal High. <laughs> you never know who people actually are on the internet. If you're confused about how to be safe on the internet, talk to somebody you trust, like an adult. If you already know how to be safe on the internet, then talk to somebody else about it and make sure they know how to be safe too maybe talk to a younger sibling or a friend they might not know how to be safe on the internet and you want them to be safe lydia are you safe on the internet <laughs> yeah i'm really safe because i don't talk to anyone i used to pretend that i worked for sso and tell people about new things coming to sso do you remember that prank that said jojo and spirit were coming back to star stable and i sent it yeah. to you and you actually believed it i hide my bank statements from my mother so she can't see all the star coins i'm buying i really don't want to see how much money i've spent on this game even though i've played it for so many years now i just i don't want to know the total because i'm sure it's something really ridiculous i joined a club recently and it was such a fun happy club until someone might have died there was one time there was this kind of well-known club and a girl in it supposedly passed. They had a funeral for her. They made a bunch of people share stories on Instagram about her. She was just lying about it. She was pretending to be her parents talking to this club and saying that she was gone when she wasn't actually. I went under someone's horse and said, nice view. I feel bad for their horse. I mean, that sounds like a compliment. When my club has practices and I don't feel like going, I lie and say I'm busy. One time it got out of hand, I went so far to say I broke my arm so I could get out of practice for days. What if somebody asks, oh, what does your cast look like? And then you don't know what to do. All my horses are secretly non-binary gays, don't tell anyone. Technically, your horses can be whatever you want them to be, really. Speaking of non-binary, when I was doing getting into Wildwoods, I did not know that Rowan, that character, was non-binary. So when I did the video, I called them a he. So then I was, oh my god, I lost, I'm, should I even restart? 
I did not read the quest dialogue. Sometimes when I'm bored, I will do a Rex roleplay with Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's into something. When I was like 10, I used to lie about my age on SSO to get star stable boyfriends. Okay, reading all of these, it makes it seem like there's so much romance going on in this game. I once gave birth to a horse. I would hope not. <laughs> hey, Budgie, let me get it. I poop on my horses, then scream at them in global for pooping on themselves. P.S. I love your toes. Lydia, did you submit that one? Wow. I didn't do that. That just sounds like <laughs> something you would do. I wouldn't share it with anyone. That seems really personal. Did you submit what? this other one too? It says, I hate this one YouTuber named Violet Flower Garden. I don't know how to go on Instagram. Okay, someone said, I hate the game with a burning passion. I only log in to talk with friends. I actually know a lot of people who do that. I know a lot of people who are only playing this game because of their club or because of their friends. Lydia, do you want to be a YouTuber? <laughs> yeah! You heard it here first, guys, Lydia. <laughs> you sound like Peppa's long-lost cousin. I used to buy star coins every month and tell my parents it was a subscription and I had to pay it. All of these sneaky kids, I swear. Oh my god, I found another animal. Oh wait, it's just you. What? One time I peed myself because I was so scared of the Halloween quest in the Silver Glade Castle. It happens. <coughs> what are you choking on? I enjoy reading the drama in global chat. It's always juicy. If I'm really bored, I'll do that. Usually it's just filled with spammers. Dude, this girl has a giant breadstick. Like she's just running around with a freaking baguette. <laughs> So my friend hates having the same horses as me, and well, one time she asked me to not get a gray English thoroughbred, and I thought and thought. Then I got it. Next, I got the Frisian that she wanted and specifically told me not to, but I got it. She still doesn't know I have any of those horses to this day. You know, here's the thing. Anyone can get any horse on this game, so if your friend wants to have different horses, that's just weird, I feel like. I had a relationship with a 30-year-old creepy man. I was 10. Oops. Once again, you never know who you're talking to online. You just don't know. One time I hated one of my horses, so I invited some friends in my stable and did a, ritu rit a ritual to exercise it. My question is, did it work? Someone said, I play SSO with my teacher. I feel like that's kind of rare to find a teacher who plays Star Stable. Lydia, does your teacher play Star Stable? <laughs> Are you good? No! <laughs> this one girl was being rude to me, so I dressed in all red and yelled, Hail S and she ran. I mean, I guess that's one way to get people to leave you alone. I'm just a little concerned. Why would I be concerned? That's a, that's a very useful way. This isn't much of a secret, but I hate the people at Steve's. They're usually so bad. I don't usually go to Steve's farm because it's very busy, so I couldn't really tell you what the people are like there. I just kind of stay away. Once, I was in a warrior cats club. I used to love warrior cats. Someone says, I'm losing interest in the game but don't want to admit it to myself. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people, they notice they're losing interest in the game and automatically tell everybody they're quitting. And they say, oh, I'm going to be gone forever. Bye, guys. And then I swear, two days later, they're back. Who said you ever needed to completely quit something? It's like, if you're not interested, then just don't play for a little while. And then if you want to come back, you can. Once I stole my parents' credit card, they said it wasn't working, but for me, it went through. Then I got grounded after I stole my brother's credit card. I bought 40,000 star coins. No one knew. Then I stole my sister's. 
She got so mad, then tried to hit me with a baseball bat. I haven't learned. Hmm? Okay. I was clubless and I was sent three times a mail because they wanted me in the club. So I said 100 times, shut the f up. <laughs> you know, when you're clubless, getting all the invitations is so annoying. That's why when I was clubless, technically, I made a club called Cat Ladies Incorporated. I don't know who has the club now, but I mean, I'm in Flower Girls, so I don't have to deal with invites anyway but it can be a little overwhelming when people try to get you in their club sso underscore potato underscore meme says i often role play that i'm taking a huge poop that's amazing that's very inspirational i do that too she just i guess we lost lydia i hope you guys enjoyed this training time thanks for watching bye